Hi everyone, it's Terry from the Gypsy Magpie and I'm here today for the Graphics Fairy uh, with my latest project for the Junk Journal Design Team. I actually ended up making a signature that was so large I took it apart, split it into two pieces, so um, today's project is kind of a twofer. Um, I have a bad habit of, it's kind of like my eyes are bigger than my stomach, I want to add tons and tons of pages and images and I find that once I start adding photos and little pieces of trim, which actually has some thickness, my signatures get so large they never close up. I'm really making an effort to uh, try and go smaller now. So like I said, uh, all I did was I snipped the threads that were holding them, them together and I went ahead and split them into two. So um, we'll go through them one by one. I used quite a few of the bundles uh, for this project. They all came off of the premium member site. Um, I heavily used uh, the black and white apothecary the watercolor teacups and the poppies and daisies but I threw in um, images from a few other bundles so I'll kind of um, I'll mention them as we come to those images so let's go ahead and start with this one what I've done for these I actually did not attach a cover this is simply almost like a, a book jacket I'm using them this way because I like to go ahead and use the traditional rubber bands that go into my uh, my TN and it holds these inserts while I work on them. Once this is full and um, I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it, what I'll do is I will once again snip these threads. I'll go ahead and put a heavier piece of cardstock in here and I'll probably cover it with sheet music just so that it's very neutral. Um, and then I'll go ahead and all with my um, all, I will punch the holes and I'll go ahead and restitch the whole thing so that it's, it's one unit. But for now, um, this is just a loose cover and I've done them both the same way. This paper is delicious. I have been holding it, hoarding it for years. It's an old Seven Gypsies. And I think you can tell as I turn this, this blue, this beautiful blue, it's flocked. And this is just kind of like a, an antique gold um, metallic for the base. They're beautiful. I've, I've got this pattern and I've also got some dots. I've got some stripes, which I did not use here. And I've also got this in a beautiful um, creamy, creamy background with red flocked. So can't wait to start using some of that up. I've, like I said, I've been hoarding that for years. So we'll open it up. My, my very first image kind of is a surprise where it came from. It didn't come out of a butterfly specific bundle. It came out of the holiday pantomime bundle, um, which just goes to show don't go strictly by the title of a bundle. When you have the time, open them up and kind of take a look at what's in there. I just, I think this guy's gorgeous. And so I liked him so much. I've used them throughout both of these uh, inserts. I've printed them in different sizes. Um, here it's printed out really large as a three and a half by five. And then these are wallet size. Um, a lot of times I do even print in what's called a contact size or a thumbnail size and you end up with a whole sheet. Uh, my printer will print 35 at a time so it's kind of fun to end up with a bunch of little ones to scatter throughout. So I did a lot of fussy cuts. Um, I also used uh, throughout this I used um, black and white apothecary bundle and I ended up with sheets and sheets of these. I like that they're, for the most part, they're blank. Um, what I plan to do is use these for either titles of whatever I'm journaling or um, a date stamp would fit nicely in there. I, I think that that would be a really pretty look. So um, you'll see a lot of those throughout this insert. 
also the body on this butterfly and I've done this um, one in each of the journals I love to use butterfly images moth images um, but I like for their skinny little bodies to have something something tangible so I took these enamel and it's actually very heavy uh, it's one of the enamel numbers from Tim Holtz it's already got holes punched in it and I took some real thin it's black cord elastic this looks like a big mess but it's gold to me um, I go ahead and I string the elastic through on the back it's not pretty um, I gl simply glued this I just I don't like the look of a hole without something in it um, up here I just did a I think it's called a lark a lark's head knot looks like that on the back it's the way that you tie a ribbon through uh, your tags and I like to I don't know if that's too close I like to tie little tiny knots on the ends of any time I have Baker's twine or anything on this stretchy elastic the knots are super important because it tends to fray so um, I just one afternoon I sat there and I made a whole bunch of these up in preparation for butterflies at some point so they came in handy here so we've got that um, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this out of the jacket the jacket is kind of annoying me um, I've also used a lot of images from the uh, it's called poppies and daisies bundle um, one of the things they have in that bundle they've got an entire PDF sheet of what looks like washi tape so I printed that out cut it up and I've used it throughout this entire thing I tried to leave a lot of blanks um, I would like to go ahead and put some photos in these at some point some of these pages like this with the book print I'm not gonna put anything on it I just it's a pretty little embellishment the way it is these daisies are from the poppies and daisies bundle um, tea cups I love tea so I um, here's something where I actually have printed out as a contact sheet I printed out tons of these and if you can kind of judge it by like the size of my thumb they're pretty small um, they are wonderful scattered throughout a journal so I printed those in contact sheet size and as you'll see later I printed some out much larger again black and white apothecary labels I am trying to use up my jars and jars and jars of washi tape so these were the ones that I used in here washi tape is always so much fun and again try to leave blank spaces where I can journal I'm just using little pieces of ribbon trim for tabs um, I actually like to glue my images in and put the washi on top I don't have a lot of faith in how long washi will stay stay stuck um, she's super cute I added some wings to her that opens up to Here's another image that's really pretty. Um, I liked the, I think these are all moths. I liked their color um, and I needed a little variation from the green ones in here. So I originally was only gonna use this one image with the three, but I found as I got my initial substrate finished, I was looking for a little more decoration. So I started cutting them up and you'll see I've used them individually throughout here too. Um, I use a lot of sheet music in my in my journals. Um, I'm trying to just add little fabric tabs wherever I could. This one turns and opens up, gives me quite a lot of journaling space. Um, this cute little boot, as a it looks like it's a sewing machine advertisement, and it came out of uh, the sewing ephemera bundle. Uh, again, more of that paper washi tape. Um, here are the teacups printed out. Um, I think these are printed out as what would traditionally be a wallet size. And on a traveler notebook, on the standard size notebooks like this, you really can't get images much larger than that. Um, if you do, they're basically taking up the entire page. Um, this is the center of this one. 
it's very clean. I can go ahead and journal here, maybe pop a single photo on black and white apothecary bundle, watercolor teacups, um, this really pretty hand with the needle. Uh, that came out of the sewing ephemera bundle. And here is where I've fussy cut out of this. It's the little moth right there. So it was perfect. Um, again, I used the green butterfly from the holiday pantomime. Um, and I tried to sprinkle a lot of quotes in here about tea. Um, pom pom trim, which I love. Um, here is an example of where you can take something that uh, this was an entire PDF sheet uh, came from the poppies and daisies bundle where I printed about his tags I thought I was going to use them that way and then I just ended up doing a little fussy cut instead and I'm using them in a different way than they were intended I may still go back and add some of these at a later point but Again, one of those moths, some more of that paper washi from the, um, the Poppies and Daisies bundle. More of the black and white apothecary tags, um, teacups. I used the tags and the teacups throughout this thinking that I would be able to journal on these lined pages and just stamp a date. It's kind of all I'm looking for. I use these journals for everything. They're not for anything special. You know, this could end up just filled up with my to-do list. It doesn't really matter. I just figure if I have to keep track of something, I might as well make it pretty, or at least pretty to me. Teacups, apothecary. And again, we've got another one of those moths. I scattered some, I had some journaling cards printed out from I don't know where. So I had them in a little bundle, decided to start using them up. These three are cute. You're never too old for a tea party. Um, paper washi, real washi. Um, I like the transparency of the real washi, and I like that the paper washi is very opaque. They make a great combo together. Another one of those tags, which I've fussy cut around the edges. Um, another apothecary label, the moth and the paper washi. So very simple. Um, I tried to use a lot of papers where it's going to give me a lot of space to either journal or make lists or whatever I want to use it for. So that is the first one. And like I said earlier, this originally was one, but it was just too fat. So here's the second. I right now have it in the polka dot flocked cover. And I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out, just for ease. Uh, the button card came from the Sewing Ephemera bundle. I, I've i already glued these on. I think I may end up popping them off later and running just a little bit of thread through or Baker's twine. They just, they don't look real unless they actually have some thread. Paper washi, more quotes, um, some old lace. I tried to keep consistency throughout the journal. This one right here is one of my favorite labels in here. I made a small pocket here. Um, right now I've just got some oddball things in it. I may end up slipping some different types of tags or maybe a folded up note paper or something in there. For now it's just holding these. This pocket was actually made. There was a two page journal spread in the sewing ephemera bundle. I went ahead and printed it out the way it was. It's a PDF sheet. I cut it up and cut it down and I I particularly liked the tomato pin cushion image so I just made it into a pocket. Um, stacked these teacups up and put a little girl on top. I thought she was cute. Um, these pages that 
may be kind of hard to see writing if I journaled on. I can either put photos on there, which would work well on this one because I could go ahead and journal here and put photos here. But if I really want to write on this, I will probably take a little bit of gesso and just either on a wet brush or with my fingers, just kind of smear it all over. Um, it will add a little bit of opaqueness to this and it'll lighten it up so that um, a Sharpie pen will show up well over it. The center here, I made myself a pocket. Again, not holding anything special. Uh, for now, just some little tags. But this was also from the, the sewing ephemera bundle. It's that same hand again with the, the needle and thread. I really like that. And here I have used one of the, the holiday pantomime butterflies in the large size, and I love him. Again, we've got blank pages. She is from the Bohe Bohemian, Bohemian bundle, I think. I love the gypsy images that um, the Graphics Fairy has throughout her bundles. And this giant pair of shears. Anybody that knows me knows that if I could get a pair of scissors that were that large in relation to my body, I'd be using these to fussy cut with. I love large scissors. Um, these scissors are from the Sewing Ephemera Bundle and they're just really cute. And I have used them on note cards and all kinds of things. They're, I'm known for my big shears. Here I made just a little tuck with one of the apothecary, uh, black and white apothecary labels. Stacked up some more teapots, uh, teacups, and there's a little girl sitting on top of them. Here I've got an image from the Poppies and Daisies bundle. Again, one of those moths. This opens up to another apothecary label and a teacup. She's very cute. And I'm really liking this um, printed cardstock because it's lined and I can get a ton of writing in there. And that's the back. Um, another one of the fussy cut tags. This pretty little plate of butterflies came from the uh, yellow ephemera bundle. Oh, I should mention this uh, beautiful set of moths. These guys came out of the peacock hues bundle. So they were kind of a surprise for me. And that's pretty much it. Um, what I will do is go ahead and fill these up. Like I said, when they're completely done, I'll um, you know, poke the holes in, I'll put a new pamphlet stitch in, and I will actually secure these together. But I think I'm going to continue making all of my journal inserts this way rather than putting hard covers on them. I'm finding that by the time I'm done, they are so fat, I really can't get anything other than that single insert into any of my traveler notebook covers. And I'm kind of bummed about that. So anyway, you'll probably see a lot more of these. I hope you take some time to pop on to the, um, the premium member site on the Graphics Ferry. I can't tell people enough how wonderful those images are and how full of inspiration they are. If you can pick up little things like this, um, they, they really add a lot to your projects. It does add a tiny bit of thickness, but for me on this one, I was willing to go ahead and kind of absorb the thickness just for the, the substantial feel of this. Um, you can also find like book plates and things like that that are small and metal or maybe even plastic sometimes. If you look in the notions section of the store, there are a lot of... Uh, they're embellishments or buttons and they're plastic, but they look like metal and they work perfectly in these journals, especially because they're super lightweight. And on top of that, they're really inexpensive. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed um, my little share here and keep making things. Bye-bye.